Alright, brace yourself Jamaica because in comes another gangster from the UK and these aren't my words this is UK news police telling you that this is a tried and proven gangster he's been in the streets he's been in the wars of the gangs and they've been trying to get him out of the UK for some time well the last time they tried it failed but guess what try and try again that's what they say if you don't succeed try try again so guess what they did they are getting him ready to put him on a plane to send him to jamaica this coming sunday today is february 27th 2024 which is tuesday so by the end of this week he should be in jamaica bright and early sunday morning on a flight fresh from the uk we recently covered this man's story but let me get into what they have for us today see it says that a jamaican man whose deportation was halted last november of 2023 after passengers on a british airway flight from gatwick to kingston protested when they witnessed him being restrained on board the plane he is due to be deported to jamaica this sunday if you catch the first video or caught the first video that i did on this story in that video i said boy england moving wicked because i did the multiplication and subtractions and additions and divisions my maths up the thing and when i check it he's been in the uk since he was a toddler so how are they deporting this grown man that's almost 30 years old back to jamaica now who has never been back to Jamaica since he left Jamaica as a teeny toddler. This guy is not Jamaican. He is only Jamaican by birth. And yes, I am one of the people who say people should be deported. Because you must learn to behave your rotted self when you go to people's country. It's just like me invite a few guests into my house. You don't walk into my house with your muddy shoes and then cock up your muddy shoes upon my center table and then brought glass in my kitchen and step over it, go piss upon my toilet seat in my bathroom. You conduct yourself accordingly, man. Right? Right. So those people, I believe, should be sent back. And I'm talking about people who left their home country, grown age, and know better. But when you take a child from their home country, land of birth and you bring them to a foreign country after a certain age that child assumes that they are completely british or, or they are completely wherever the country they are growing up in they have no recollective memory of jamaica he left jamaica at about five or six years old my friend but let's get into the story his name is lawrence morgan 27 years old about to be 28 he has convictions for serious firearms and drugs offenses now during the home office's attempt to deport him last november of 2023 passengers on the flight realized that this man in the back was restrained and he started making a whole lot of noise wah, wah, wah. He knew what he was doing, right? Right. So there happened to be some people on that flight who were the type of people who would block the way for anybody who was going to be deported. So they stood up out of their seats as the plane was running down the runway to take off into the sky. By them sitting, by them standing and not putting their seatbelts on that prevented the pilot from taking off now you know when you're on a plane and you hear okay everybody buck your seat belts and we're about to take off blah 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 yeah that part there they just simply unbuckled their seat belts and stood up the plane had to turn around now when the plane turned around he was removed from that plane now when he was removed from the plane on his way out he thanked the people who actually stood up so the plane could not go off thought he had won a battle or thought he had won a war but england is bent on getting him out of the uk 
because his involvement in gangsterisms is just so documented and deeply entrenched. Now, after the protesters on the plane saw him in the back of the plane, it also raised questions. Should deportees be placed on commercial flights? I know what. I'm not paying no whole heap of money to go sit on a plane for my flight. And I'm on the plane for up teen hours while there's a guy kicking and screaming in the back. What if I already have anxieties about flying? And then there's this guy being very disruptive as they hog tie him and keep him at the back of the plane. Unless they could give him a shot that would make him go to sleep and then wake him up when we get to our destination and I have no idea he's there. But this sound like some Con Air stuff. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Con Air where they were transporting the prisoners and the prisoners got loose mid-air and started killing each other and killing off everybody on the plane. Yeah, me with a paro. Anyways, Morgan spoke to the Guardian while he was detained in Brookhouse Immigration Removal Center near Gatwick Airport on Saturday and again while en route to the airport on Sunday morning. He claimed escorts taking him to the airport had used excessive force against him and said that he was being escorted by armed police. He is due to fly on a Norse Atlantic Airlines commercial passenger flight due to take off from Gatwick to fly into Montego Bay at noon on Sunday. Hmm. All right. So they are giving you every bit of every detail as to where, when he's leaving, when he's landing, no mistaking which airport he's going to be landing at. All that. By the way, Jamaica just opened up a new airport in Bosco Bell. So Jamaica has three airports now. The Norman Manley International. Then you have the Donald Sangster Airport in Montego Bay. And now you have Bosco Bell Airport as well. Which I believe is in St. Anne, right? So they are telling you exactly where he's going to be. He's coming into the Montego Bay Airport. And he should be arriving Sunday at noon. A lucky thing that this man is not one of the people who ran away from jamaica because of gang warfare, and him did hurt anybody here and they're announcing his arrival back so the killy killy them can lay with him and do what they do given the fact that he left at about five or six years old from jamaica it's safe to say he probably has no enemies here but i want you to remember just last year there was a fitness instructor guy who came to jamaica and he was ambushed and murdered in jamaica and it was a hit that was sent from the uk according to law enforcement investigation information so because you end up in jamaica doesn't mean you cannot be touched it simply means that it's probably even easier because those who want you touched they can pay in pounds and if you know the exchange rate one US dollar to how many Jamaican dollars? One British pound to how many Jamaican dollars? You will see that the British pound stretches very, very far. Anyways, deportation to Jamaica are particularly controversial because some of those deported have lived in the UK since their childhood days. And some of them, the older ones, are Windrush descendants. Now, while Morgan's criminal convictions are serious... He is one of them who arrived in the UK. Okay, it says it right here at the age of six. And he has lived his whole life in the UK. He said, all my family are here. I don't know anybody in Jamaica. And I believe that my life will be at risk there. It is my daughter's eighth birthday today. I promised her a present, but instead... I can't even see her on her birthday. This is what he's saying as he's giving an interview. This is going to be <clears throat> his final interview before England fling him out and has nothing else to do with him. Boy, this is a sad story. His daughter will have to grow up without him or move to Jamaica to live with him. But he is saying he has nobody in Jamaica. 
Now, on a previous deportation flight to Jamaica, an agreement was made between the Jamaican authorities and the UK government that people who lived in the UK since childhood would not be deported. I remember when the UK said this to Jamaica and I said, if you didn't get it in writing, the UK is lying because they can go around it anytime they choose unless it is a written agreement signed and sealed document well here is one this young man is heading to jamaica right now and he's been here since childhood even though the uk authorities told the jamaican government that they would not be deporting or sending back anybody who came to the uk since their childhood days now hannah Gaffey, the woman who raised concerns about Morgan's deportation when she witnessed him being restrained back in November of 2023 on that flight. She has said that she had concerns about the plans to deport him. She said, somebody who has lived in the UK since they were six years old should not be deported to a country that they have no connections to. Lawrence has served his time in prison. And he deserves the right to start his life again, like any other person with conviction, right? I am extremely concerned about his safety and his return to Jamaica as other deportees who have returned to Jamaica have been killed in Jamaica. The Home Secretary, James Cleverly, criticized Gaffey and others on the November flight as do-gooders. These damn do-gooders. They want to save these animals. My duty is to keep the British public safe from these animals. The Home Office, North Atlantic and Jamaica High Commission have been approached for comments. The Home Office previously used charter flights to deport people to Jamaica, but there were these are the con these were like controversial due to the issue of the Windrush situation. So according to Home Office Freedom of Information Data, planned deportation charters to Jamaica in 2022 and 2023 were canceled. Honestly, that ain't the reason. The reason is money. It takes a whole lot of money to charter a plane to go all the way to Jamaica. And a lot of the times, they also want to bring a load back to England to offset the price. So if they charter a plane and send 20 deportees to Jamaica, the plane is going to Jamaica relatively empty. To fly that distance with all that fuel and then burn up all that. And then when they get there, they're hoping that there could be like another, you know, 100, 200 people who's heading back to the UK and they could bring them back and collect that fare and then offset the price. So that's what that was about. It's not about no wind rush, nothing. So Morgan said that during the previous attempts to deport him, he was dragged to the plane and he had sustained a number of injuries while he was restrained on the plane. They beat him down, drag him to the plane, fling him on the plane, restrain him. And they're trying to take him, you know, just take him out of the UK. Now, <clears throat> I'll close by saying this this one is wrong i don't care what nobody wants to say this one is wrong if you don't know what he did go and look up the last video we did on him on this channel he is caught on video his big shootout in the street in the uk um one of his brethren who was involved was killed in the process and he actually he was riding his bicycle away from an altercation that they had and one of his brethren got killed shot so he turned around and came back and started shooting up the place too, right? So it doesn't make him look good either way. Yeah, he was defending his brethren, but where you get a gun from in the UK? So he's a gunman. And then with his history, because he's done some other things, it doesn't look good. But like the young lady said, he came to the UK at six years old. He grew up in the UK. He is all UK. All his badness, all his everything, he got that from the UK. And he did his time in the penal system there. 
They've already punished him. So now give him the right to rebuild his life. After prison time, there's supposed to be a rehabilitation period, right? You don't prison him and then deport him to a place where he has no connections. Well, we will see how this one goes because come Sunday, he'll be in Jamaica. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. Are they doing him wrong? Or do you feel like he should stay in the UK? Or do you feel like they should send him back to Jamaica? And what kind of an impact do you think this is going to have on Jamaica as a society? I'll talk to y'all on the next video. It's SoFlo TV. Behave yourself when you go abroad. Because then we send you back at your yard. Because you're never born there. And for the ones who throw stone behind them. And go in other people's place and act like that is yours. And you don't remember where you come from. Be careful. Be careful. Because one day you might need to run back to your yard. And guess what? You will be a stranger too. I'll catch you all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.